Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at moving objects. So we just learned in my previous video how to navigate in space by orbiting and panning and zooming. Now we're going to look at how to move objects. So let me just uh, delete this cube and I'll make a brand new cube here, just if you haven't seen. So if I click on the poly modeling tab and get my cube, it should just push one down for you. I'm just going to drag one out on my own. We'll learn that later. Okay. So how do we move objects? Over here on the left side, we have the move, the rotate, and the scale or resizing tool. So we'll start with the move tool. And you see with the move tool, there's something that um, attaches itself to the shape. Uh, it is a green, blue, and red arrow. They call this a few different things. I have learned it was been, by, taught by me, it was called the gizmo, a gizmo. Um, it's going to also be called a manipulator, a handle, uh, whatever you want to choose to call it. Uh, but it has a green, blue, and red, which stands for the y-axis. This is the x-axis, and this is the z. Sorry, uh, this is the x-axis is the red, and the z is the blue axis, forward and backward. So, um, while we're on this move tool, I can hover over a tip of the arrow, and it'll turn gold if you notice and I can move a shape on that axis, All right? So you can try that out. If you hold from the middle of the gizmo, which I never recommend, notice it's moving it on all axes, which could be a problem because we don't exactly know where that's going. So I like to stick with the arrows on the move tool. There's also these, um, on the gizmo, there's also these little colored squares and they will allow you to move a shape on uh, two axes. So if I hold down the green, notice it's moving on the blue and the red, so the X and the Z, and it's keeping it on the ground as it slides around, right? But if you had, let's just say, a modeled picture on a wall, I could move it on this one here to slide it up and down that, uh, that wall if you wanted to. So just wanted to, to know that those are there as well, but stick to the arrows when you're using the move tool. The next tool I'm gonna look at is just two down here. I'm gonna skip the rotate tool, go right to the scale tool. Notice that the scale tool looks just like the move tool, except instead of arrows, it has little cubes, green, blue, and red, same colors. But look at this, if I hover over, it turns gold, and I can stretch a shape by using this scale tool. And, I don't know if you noticed, but in the center of this gizmo, there is a light blue arrow. That is for scaling proportionally, which is very important in some cases. So, uh, as I said, for the move tool, don't use the middle of the gizmo, but for the scale tool, of course you should use the middle of the gizmo if you feel like you need to scale something proportionally. Okay, next let's go to the rotate tool. The rotate tool, if you notice, looks uh, the same colors, green, blue, and red. Uh, this will rotate. If you hold down on one of these axes, you can hold down and rotate a shape, tumble it. I'm going to just undo. That's Command Z, Z, Z. Um, there's also a light blue arrow, and that is the um, so this is the Y, this is the X, and the Z, but this round one around the whole gizmo here is rotating around the camera's uh, angle. So the way we're looking at it, you're rotating it around that axis. Um, one thing to note, if I want to rotate something in 15 degree increments, if I want to be very precise, you would hold down, not shift, just like every other program I know, you would hold down the letter J on your keyboard. So if I hold down the letter J, take a look what happens. It's rotating this shape in 15 degree increments. So now that I know, now I know that this is standing straight up. Whereas if I tried to do that by hand, you might be a little bit off. All right. So uh, that is the move, the scaling, and rotating. Good luck and give it a try.